We had 100 cows, it was fine, but uh, now we've grown up to 650 cows. We went to Dairy Master factory, uh, they're making over 90%. And Dairy Master offered a very superior package with everything involved. Having stainless steel means that it will last forever. That's why we went for Dairy Master as well, is to, to install the parlor, which uh, to me would mean that I'd have to be there more time. And with Dairy Master being here for only a week, it was uh, it was ideal for us really. They soon got into things, and uh, by the end of the week, uh, we had uh, all the rotary installed. Start on milking. Everybody was like, mostly excited about what was going to happen. Um, so after two milkings, uh, all the cows were coming on fine. It's an unbelievable move and they have their individual stalls which makes them uh, more relaxed uh, during the milking time. Put on ACRs, cluster flush, auto teeth spray. We've also in incorporated the moo monitor, all the cows bullying the morning is drafted automatically for us. After installing them, the value for money is incredible. And also the activity, you know, picks up cows which aren't very well and so that's valuable as well. We got after 150 cows about uh, three years ago, we were at the crossroads. Do we stay in or do we increase? And um, the next generation all love cows. Uh, we're a closed herd with robotics. We then went to the rotary um, and looked at several parlours. I fell in love with them. All the farms we looked at, um, they loved them. And the cows looked so happy and quiet. Dairy Master was the parlour we chose because um, we loved the stainless steel side of it. You keep a clean, lovely pulsation on it. Also, what I loved was the arm where the clusters go from the quote stage to the building. Been a very, very professional. Any questions I've thrown at the company, I always come back with answers. Back scans are low, TV, you know, everything is low. Cell counts are low, you've got to keep them as low as you can. You've got a lot more cows coming through, so you know, it leaves you so much more time to look after the cows. That's the basic thing. Whereas before, you were just, you know, by the time you finish milking after sort of 10 hours a day, and then you... And you can't just put a rotary in, take it out and put a bigger one in. Um, what decision you make, you're looking down the road for 20 years. I cannot quite believe how quick a parlour went up um, a gang of guys come and that was virtually up in a week. Cows, they I wanted to be able to milk up to 1,000 to 1,200 cows three times a day. Of all the decisions I had to make on building the new unit, the parlour and who I bought it from was the easiest decision that I made. We put in a 3264 rapid exit parlour with um, automatic segregation, moo monitor, heat detection, and a 45 foot backing gate, which is all an integral part of the, of the parlour. Three times a day milking, 
Um, annual yield is just about 10,500 litres and going up. Uh, daily average yield, 37 litres a cow. Two men in our parlour milk in excess of 200 cows an hour. Um, you know, they're yielding high levels of milk, so it's harvested well and easily, so, you know, it's good. We've now got the auto ID in the parlour. We had the auto ID for the, for the heat detection, and now we've got all the yields recorded, and now I can scroll in and see what my daily yields are. It's allowed me better management of the cows. Cluster Cleanse gives me the, uh, the backup that I know that everything is washed out, cleaned out. Um, cell counts are very good and back to scans are very good as well. So I think that um, that's just a, a must have as far as I'm concerned. The backing gate is automated with the cows that come through the auto seg, it, it, it moves out automatically. On a rapid exit parlour, I think three-way drafting is absolutely crucial because it allows you to continually melt the next group. And when that rapid exit lifts up, they're all mixed up and actually they get segregated back out into the groups. So that's fantastic. I wouldn't be without the three-way drafting. The strength of the, of the equipment is very good and the service was very good. And service was very important to me. Everything was done and dusted very far. Come into the parlour and look at it. We had looked at parlours for at least a decade as far away as California. The farms that we looked at with the Dairy Master system, uh, we liked how they operated uh, and uh, we didn't see that we would lose any speed at all in uh, milking with a swing. Right there sold us that uh, this system could milk high producing cows and, and since we've installed it, that's worked out to be true. Swing parlor works great. I wouldn't have nothing else. And with the movable floor, you can set your height where you're looking right at the other to put the machine on. And you can see the other real good, you know, from the back. You know, don't buy into this story that you can't lift milk from high producing cows. With the Dairy Master system, there is no problem lifting milk. You can have a swing parlor, you can reduce your cost. You know, we have 40 cows on a side parlor with just 40 machines. That's 40 less machines to wash every day, that's less water. We have about 800 cows, average in around 85 pounds a day. Our teat health seems to be very good. We don't see mastitis issues from teat health. Mastitis issues, you know, would be more from, you know, when you're training new people in the parlor, more uh, personnel issues until new people get acclimated to milking cows. And our dealer is here whenever we need them. Jerry Master dealer said we, we told him we wanted a good gate. He says that's the gate. Brings the cows up. And then if you want to scrape the hole in area, just put the squeegee down and when it goes back, it scrapes the hole in the area. No skid loaders, no flushing with water or nothing. It's just easy and quick. If I want to, I can lean against that gate and I can stop it myself. And I'm not going to cow, so, if, you know, so we just got it just so it moves. But if a cow stands there, it stops. And you can't hurt a cow that way. We have said this is something I like to do. I don't mind it at all. The milking process runs smoothly, so you were only busy for a limited time. 180 cows are milked and the parlor is cleaned out within 1.5 hours. It's an easily managed time frame, and after that, milking is finished for the day. This enables you to use the rest of the day more efficiently to monitor your cows or to work out in the field. This is what gives us time. The system works so well. We have an extra milker who milks for us when we're not around, and it's easy to hand over responsibility. He knows the milking process and knows exactly what to do because it's a system that works for everyone. 
Het is ook een systeem uh, waar iemand anders aan over kunt laten. Cow identification works well too, so there's no errors while operating. No malfunctions, no awkward problems. You can leave with the family for a day without concerns. If you want to do something fun, someone else can milk for you, and you don't have to be worried about your cows for the day. They're well taken care of. And that was not the case previously. Originally, we wanted to milk with robots. We had to make the difficult decision to sell the robots and switch back to traditional milking. We chose the Dairy Master Parlor and have been happily milking for the last two years. Nowadays, our schedule is easier to plan, routines are tighter. It's like, this is what we'll do in the morning, that job in the dairy, finished. Now we can focus on the next job. If you're growing your herd, you need the ability to develop a well-organized, tight working schedule and perform a lot more in a shorter time frame to make your business more profitable. We chose our milking parlor with the growth of our herd in mind, but you might say, I only want to milk 100 to 120 cows then most people go for two robots but if you opt for a swing over of any decent size then milking is finished within the hour efficiency working speed other health milking process quality are all very important to me and for me yes I'm very satisfied if I had to go through the whole process again, I would buy exactly the same parlor. If I were to upscale, I might even consider one of your revolver rotary parlors. Also a wonderful system. For someone thinking, how do I want to milk, that person should consider the investment. This parlor costs a bit because we added many extra features, high quality finish and so on, but the annual cost is way less compared to our previous system. It may be a large investment, but because of lower maintenance costs and because we can produce more liters of milk per hour, the efficiency of the parlor is actually very high. You get the higher capacity with it. You could even run the milking parlor 20 hours per day and milk way more cows. The only added cost would be labor. If I wanted to milk 30 more cows or 26 more, it's only one more round of milking.